So this is gonna be a good way to really introduce to you guys the idea of being prepared to work backwards. Because when it comes to formulas and equations, you know, it's really the epitome of working backwards to solve for a specific letter or a variable. It's all about knowing how to work forward and backwards. So let's go ahead and get into it. It says, hey, right in the beginning, what is the measure of one of its sides? Everybody, is that specific enough for us to label a formula instantaneously? Just that red highlight. What is the measure of one of its sides? Is that by itself enough for us to say, oh yeah, that's gonna be area equals length times width, or that's gonna be perimeter equals four times side, or that's gonna be this or that. Is that red highlight by itself enough to, to understand what we're looking for? No, exactly, no. That by itself is not specific enough because it says, hey, what is the measure what is the measure of one of the sides? My first question is gonna be, well, what shape? Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes, and if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way, you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing, and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are, and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. Because if I'm trying to pin a formula to this, or give myself some sort of big hint or clue or mechanism to solve this by, well, I need to know what shape we're dealing with. And I also need to know what information this is being tied to, because everybody, isn't it true that the side is used in the perimeter and the area formula and a volume formula and a surface area formula? It's used in all of those. So I have no idea at this point, I have no idea what formula I am to use. But the way that you should start is like this. First, I know that I'm looking for the side of a specific shape. Let's understand what shape that is. And if there are clues to any formulas that might help us get there. Let me walk you through. I got you. So here, we want to find one of the sides or the measure of one of the sides. So I'm going to say that the side equals blank. And it says inches for the answer choices. So I'll go ahead and do inches. Now, up next, let's go ahead and look through all of the information that the problem may give us. So right over here, I'm going to say, hey, uh, a square desk measures 116 inches around its border. Now, let me let that fade away and let me go ahead and go back first. Everyone, what shape are we dealing with? Square, rectangle, pentagon, parallelogram, what are we dealing with? Right, we have to be able to, you know, we have to be able to take in very obvious information. They say it's a square, take that for what it is. So a square desk, boom. So we are dealing with a square, And then we're kind of given a weird measurement here. We're given a weird measurement and we need to be able to understand whether it's perimeter, area, surface area, volume, we gotta know this. We have to be able to confidently say that we know this and why. It's not just about taking a good guess as much as it is about supporting your answer. That way you can build confidence. That's where confidence comes from. So with that said, if I'm look, taking a look at this and it says it measures 116 inches around its border. Let's actually highlight that in a different color. Let me use uh, let's use green for that around its border. That's pretty pretty curious there. What do we think that might be? What what do we think might be, and what clues do you think we should really write down there? Okay, perimeter. Ah, right right on, Clyde. Around its border, around its border. Very clear there. Around its border. So if I'm taking a look at a square, which we know it's a square already. And we say around its border, everyone, what did we talk about earlier that we specifically made a diagram that looks just like that? What idea is that again? Right on. It's going to be the perimeter. It's going to be the perimeter. Absolutely. And so 
this is what we now have given ourselves. Now we have given ourselves the formula that we are going to apply because we know that we're dealing with a square and we are dealing with its perimeter and we want to find its side. Huh. The formula for the perimeter of a square includes its side. So that's how we know we're on the right track. This is going to give us everything we need. And so let's go ahead and get to it. Perimeter equals four times the side. Before I continue, everybody, are we good to go here? Are we understanding how we've gotten here at this point? Cool. So with that said, boom, it says measures 116 inches around this border. So let me actually just take that color again. And another reason, another way that we can tell that this is actually going to be perimeter is by the, the unit of measure that we're using. Notice how it just says 116 inches, just like that. So let me just take this here. So notice how it just says 116 inches, not 116 square inches, cubic inches, just says inches. That's how you can tell that this is a regular distance. And if it's going around the shape, a distance around the shape, perimeter. And so guess what? All we have to do here is replace the perimeter with 116. And this is where we have to learn how to work backwards. This is where if we know how to work backwards, we're gonna give ourselves a much easier time. So everybody, if I wanted to work backwards here, how would I find what the side is? Because to work forward, I would do four times the side, but I'm trying to work backwards, so I would do what to both sides? Correct. I would divide both sides by four. So with that said, booyah, we're good. Divide by four, divide by four. And if you know your mental math, you can split 116 up into 116. 100 divided by four is 25, 16 divided by four, is four. So then you have basically 25 times four, which is, or plus four, which is 29. Or long division works just the same. So with that, now I'm gonna restrain myself from preaching about the, <laughs> the virtues of mental math. But we're gonna go ahead and just go straight into it and go say, hey, four goes into one, can't happen. Four goes into 11, twice. So we'll go ahead and do that, boom. Subtract eight, bring the three down. Then four goes into 36, nine times. And that's a clean nine because you take away the 36 and you have nothing left. Cool, so 29. So there it is, side equals 29 inches and we are good.